Hey guys, this week we're going to look at some hidden weapons that could actually save your life. So I'm going to start with the hidden pen knife. This is actually one of my favorites. It's cool because it's small. You can keep it in your pocket. The pen actually works on this, which is pretty neat. And it's actually pretty solid too. It's a pretty sturdy blade. It's made of stainless steel. It's sharpened really nicely. You could use this for a letter opener. If you, if you just wanted it for that aspect, that'd be great. You know, you could use your pen and then if you were opening mail, you could you know, use a letter opener. But this thing's so sharp that you could actually protect yourself pretty well with it if you ever needed it. Um, so I really like these pen knives. We sell a bunch of different ones. This one's called the Businessman Pen Knife. And I like it because it looks like a real pen. Looks like what an executive might use. Um, but we also sell them in different colors, different styles. So just check out the website and see the different pen knives that we sell. Uh, but it's a really cool weapon to keep on you at all times. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is the... This is called the Stealth Cat Ring. And these are new this year. They're kind of neat. Um, it looks like a normal ring. It looks like if I was wearing my normal wedding ring and... Um, if you ever got into trouble and you needed to, you could flip that around and you've got two sharp spikes on your hand that could be used for, you know, DNA extractors or just to protect yourself. Um, these things are really great. Uh, definitely for self-defense, they're a, a really good item. Um, so I like it. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, they're made out of a stainless steel. They're available in a couple different colors. Um, I think, yeah, three different colors. We've got them in a black, we've got them in a silver, and then in a gold. I personally like the black ones. I think they're really cool. Um, so yeah, check those out on the website. All right, I'm gonna bring you to the weapon room and we'll just kind of look and see what we have over there. All right, so this is the first thing I wanted to show you. I don't know uh, how many of you are martial artists, but if you're a martial artist, you probably have a good idea of what a kubaton is. Kubatons are used for pressure points. Um, they're often used when you're making a fist to kind of strengthen your fist. Uh, they're very popular in martial arts, but this one's special. This one's cool because it's not only a close range weapon, but if you unscrew it, you've got four little throwing spikes in here. Now, throwing spikes are awesome. I don't know if you guys have ever thrown throwing stars or throwing knives. They're a little bit different. Throwing spikes are cool because you throw them a little bit different than the other things. When you're throwing a throwing star, you kind of throw them overhand. You kind of throw them underhand like that. But you kind of flick your wrist when you're doing it. When you're throwing a throwing knife, kind of the same way where you kind of flip it. Throwing spikes are different. Throwing spikes, you kind of want to hold in your hand in this respect. And you kind of just throw them like that. And the, wherever your finger's pointing, is where it's gonna throw. I like them. I like a lot of the throwing weapons, um, but you gotta kinda get used to all the different types. Knives are totally different than stars. Spikes are totally different than knives. Um, so yeah, try out different ones, see which ones you like. So that's a cool weapon. Um, let's see. All right, and then over here, I've got one of our, uh, this is called the Hidden Comb Knife. Um, this is actually the tactical hidden comb knife. We sell them in a bunch of different colors. We've got them in blues, pinks, blacks. Um, they're pretty sweet because, again, like the pen knife, you can just have this in your pocket, pull it out if you need it, and it's got a really sharp, it looks like it's probably a stainless steel blade, um, but they are uh, they're definitely could be used for self-defense purposes. You could definitely protect yourself with this pretty, pretty well. Um, I like them because... Um, you know, it's something you could definitely conceal really easily and use to protect yourself. So these are cool, but we also sell brush spikes. So let's see, you can grab one of these. All right, this is a hidden brush spike. So similar to comb knife, um, but more in the brush shape. We sell these in a couple different colors. We sell them, I believe, in pink and black right now. Um, but what's cool about them is they are a solid... Feels like a nylon, possibly a plastic. You take off the tip and you've got a really beefy spike that you could use to protect yourself. Um, but it's solid, it's sturdy. The tip is actually really sharp. Um, it could definitely, definitely protect you pretty well if you needed it. Um, and I don't think many people are gonna suspect a brush of being a spike. So it's a, it's a pretty cool little weapon. Let's see. 
Oh, this is cool. Okay, so I like this one. This is a credit card knife. Um, very popular. We like them because you can just fit them in your wallet. Um, nobody's ever going to expect you to have something in your wallet. Um, but let's just take a look at this real quick. So it's, it's thin, ultra thin. Looks just like a camouflage credit card. We, we sell them in black sometimes, sometimes camouflage, sometimes pink. Um, but they've got a little knife inside, and all you do is you kind of take off the safety on the knife, and we flip that blade up, and then you pull the ends back, and you've got like an actual knife, and this thing is, it's sharp. It's an actual good knife. It's small, but that's, it's actually got a really good sharp edge on it um, that you could use to protect yourself. So um, if you want something small that fits in your wallet that, you know, you just have there in case you ever possibly needed it, I definitely recommend these credit card knives. They're, they're pretty cool. All right, let's see. Um, these are kind of neat. Um, and we sell these in all different colors, blacks, blues, uh, pinks, reds. Um, but this is a hidden lipstick knife. So again, small enough to fit in your purse, in your pocket. Um, works just like a lipstick where it's got a, a blade in it. Now that blade is small. That blade can't be over an inch long, um, but it could definitely, it's got a sharp edge, a very sharp edge, um, could definitely be used for self-defense. Uh, so I like these. I think they're neat. Um, <laughs> they're kind of cool how they work. But uh, definitely, if you wanted something to protect yourself, real small, uh, I'd recommend looking into those. And we have a whole bunch of different ones on the site. So, oh, these are cool. These are really cool. Um, I actually am glad I found one of these because uh, a lot of people question how they work, and I'd like to show them off a little bit. But this is a hidden belt knife. Um, all right, so it comes like this. And it's just kind of folded up. We take off that and then it's got a big nylon belt on it. Um, so when you put this on, you'll notice it's probably too big at first. So we've got to adjust this and to adjust it, you just kind of pull that thing open and the teeth open up and then we adjust this to whatever size we're at. So let's see, I guess I'm probably about there. So I'll close that again. And let's see. Yep, I might want to adjust that just a little bit more, but I actually got the size fairly close there. So, yeah, so we got a, a belt on, looks pretty concealed. You need it, you just yank it out. And this is actually a pretty sweet knife. Um, the blade, the actual blade itself, I would say is roughly an inch and a half. Um, but it's got this extra little area there to kind of keep your, your finger in for added um, comfort. But um, this thing, this could be a very fast little concealed weapon if you ever need it. Super easy to take out, put back in. I love these things. I think these are so cool. Uh, very cool little concealed weapon. So definitely consider a belt knife if you're ever looking for something to protect yourself with. Definitely recommend. All right, let's see. Oh, these are kind of neat. Okay. We sell a lot of these um, because they're just so handy and so simple and um, they can they can fit on anyone's key ring. So what I like about these is they're actually made to the size of a normal key. They look, I mean, it's a little bit thicker. It's obviously wider than a real key, but I mean, it's about the right size. So if you have this on a keychain it's going to be very difficult to notice that there's actually something there that's not a key. Um, and all you do is you take out the blade and the blade is roughly, I'd say maybe an inch and a half, two inches, but it's really sharp. This is probably sharper than the blades on the other things I've shown you. Um, it's a, it, it's a really sharp knife. So you could definitely protect yourself if you needed to. Um, I like it. I like it because it's small and concealed. Um, nobody's ever going to know you have it, but it's there in case you ever need it. So that's a really cool little thing, little key knife. And then let's see, 
One of the things we sell a lot of, and you'll see a lot of them on the site, is neck knives and necklace knives. Um, here's an example of one of the ones that uh, I really like. And this is the hidden dog tag neck knife. So it's cool because it's got a stainless steel neck necklace on it. Um, and it looks like, if I was to wear that, it looks like a normal dog tag, or the, at least the size of a dog tag. So anyone kind of looking at it briefly isn't going to think anything of it. But you just, if you wanted to use it, you could just rip that off, and then you've got a knife. And that knife is small, but it's still sharp and could actually, you know, protect you if you needed protection, you know. Um, so I, I really think these things are cool too. We've got a bunch of different neck knives though. So check out the site, look at all the different necklace knives and neck knives we have. Um, you can just do, use the search bar, do a search for neck knife. Uh, you'll find a whole bunch of them. So those are cool. Um, let's see. Well, let's look at a, little, a few of the bigger items that we carry. Some of the uh, ones that are kind of popular that could be used. Um, Okay, let's check this guy out. Right here. Okay, so this thing, I'm gonna open this guy up. This is one of our fairly popular weapons. Um, I'm gonna be honest, it's not one of my favorites, uh, but a lot of people really like it, and a lot of people really swear by it. So I don't wanna talk bad about it, um, but I'll show it to you, see what you think. You guys make up your own mind on it. So it's, uh, it's the hidden umbrella sword. Okay. And this is how it works. Okay, so put the blade in there. If we wanted a, an umbrella to carry around, it definitely works like an umbrella. It's actually a pretty sweet umbrella. Like, that would... Uh, do the job that an umbrella would do. So it's a good umbrella, but if you needed something else, there's a little button right here and you push that in and then you pull out the sword. And it was a little bit hard to get out at first, um, but that does kind of get easier over time. Um, but it's got a blade on it and I'm just gonna put that down. The blade I would guess is roughly a foot and a half. Um, it's not overly sharp. The tip isn't, the tip is not overly sharp. Uh, the blade itself is, it's sharpened, but not overly sharp. Um, but definitely when it came down to protecting yourself, um, you could use it for protection. That's why I think a lot of people like these. Um, the handle is kind of like a nylon plastic. Um, it's all right. I don't, uh, I, I definitely am not uh, the hugest fan of these. Um, but again, we've got customers that just swear by them and uh, really like them. Um, so, you know, it's kind of up to you whether you want one or not. Uh, all right, but I'll show you some of the ones that I think are actually uh, kind of cooler weapons. Um, we sell a lot of uh, sword canes. Um, this is one of the more economical ones we sell. A lot of people like these. I think they're decent for a for a kind of more inexpensive sword cane. I think they're pretty cool. Um, what I like about them is they look simple. You know, the best sword canes, in my opinion, are the ones that just look simple. You get a lot that have like dragons or birds or you know things like that, and then they to me they just look off and they look like a sword cane. And with all of these weapons, you want them to be, you know. You don't want people to know that they're weapons. You want them to know that they're just a cane. So if you ever needed this, it's got two little buttons in there and you push them in. And this thing actually has a pretty sweet sword on it. Um, I would guess that that is, I would say tw two feet easy, um, but the blade is actually a long blade and it's sharp and it's actually a pretty darn good quality blade. So. I actually, for, uh, for an inexpensive sword cane, I think these are one of the best ones you can get. And this is called the Traveler's Sword Cane. Uh, we've got it on the site. Um, so definitely, definitely check it out. Um, but I'm gonna show you one of the more, um, one of the more uh, pricey sword canes that we carry that's just a little bit better quality. Um, and 
that is over here. And this guy is just called the Hidden Sword Cane. So I'm gonna open it up real quick, take a look. A lot of people really like these. Um, that's why I want to show it off. So this is the Hidden Sword Cane. When you look at this, you can just tell that it's a better quality weapon. It's, uh, it's got this really solid nylon handle on it that looks like a standard cane handle. And I'd be willing to bet that if I put all my weight on it, it probably would be able to hold up pretty nicely. Um, it's got a rubber footing on it that's very good quality. Um, the shaft is made from a really high strength aluminum. Um, you can just tell this thing is well made. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Oh, this is what's kind of cool about this sword cane. Most of them, if you use them, you unscrew them and it takes a little bit of time. So if you were actually getting attacked, you'd have to sit there and unscrew it really quick. What's kind of cool about this is that you, you yank it and it's got a really cool, like it feels tight. It's like a vacuum sealed where that's not going to come off on you easily at all. But, um, it comes off quickly when you need it. So this has, uh, I believe it's a carbon steel blade. Um, yeah, it's carbon steel, uh, very solid, very durable. Um, the blade itself looks like it starts about here. And I would say that you've got a good three feet on, on length, but then the blade itself has to be two, two and a half feet long. Um, so this is a really cool sword cane. Uh, definitely one of the best ones we carry. Um, could get you out of some trouble if you need to get out of trouble. All right, guys. Well, that's all the hidden weapons I wanted to show you today. But if there's any more that you see on the site that you'd like me to review, definitely put it in the comments below. Maybe we'll do it in another week in the future. So you guys have a great week and we'll see you next Wednesday.